What's good, y'all? This is just going to be a quick update video to a video I uploaded yesterday about uh, trying to help people quit smoking. Once again, I'm just a dude on the internet that's learning some cool stuff and I'm just passing it along. Sometimes I have the full story, sometimes I don't. And before we get into it, like, I'm going to give a specific shout out to Zen. You know, Zen is like someone that's been subscribed to me for a minute now, very supportive, always like telling me I made a good video, I learned, he learned something from it, but every once in a while he always gives me his opinion on stuff, and he articulates it well, and he said, hey, I ain't, I ain't coming at you, it's just, here's some information for you, and I really do appreciate that. If I, if I ever present something to y'all, and y'all think that I don't have the full story, feel free to let me know, feel free. I'm not one of those people that, no, 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 I'm right. <laughs> you know, I'm just learning some stuff and I'm passing it along. I'm in my own journey and I'm learning stuff too, okay? But secondly, though, it's like I want to go ahead and uh, just give a quick shout out to all of y'all. You know, because like people like Zen showing up and spreading their expertise because he's a med student. So he, he, he's like, he's deep into this right now. And um, my community, whether whoever you are, whether you're here for senior retention, spirituality stuff, crystals, moldavite, whatever, y'all, somehow I've amassed like the most positive thousand people in the world. There's billions of people that could have been gravitating towards my channel, but I got the thousand, you know, most positive, helpful people in the world. So shout out to y'all, really. Like, I just want to give that special shout out to y'all, you know, because y'all are the definition of help me help you. You know, some of y'all don't have your own channels. You give me some information, I present it. There we go. I'm just here to help the world, and I give, I take no credit for, for anything, really. So shout out to Zen. Shout out to you for giving me your expertise, sharing your knowledge with me that I can present the right information to the world. But real quick, you know, one of the things that he pointed out to me is that I should definitely let you know about the fertilizers and herbicides. That's something that I didn't think about. You know, this can actually like be attributed to weed as well. You know, I was trying to get people away from the nicotine, the arsenic, the rat poison that's in some of these cigarettes. The thing that literally is labeled, it will kill you, right? But then I, I recommend a whole bunch of different herbs. One of the simple things that he pointed out to me, he explained it very well, is that you need to pay attention to how a lot of these things are grown, right? Because when you uh, light some of these herbs, that they could be reacting in a different way. These things have a different chemical uh, makeup. So some of them might be just as dangerous, if not more dangerous, okay? I want to go ahead and put that out there, okay? That's why it's very important when it comes to health, you do your own research. I'm a 20-something-year-old dude on the internet. I'm a random dude on the internet. I don't care how much you love my content. I'm just a guy learning stuff and passing it along. Do your own research when it comes to your health because I don't smoke this stuff every single day. Some of you might. But even then, if I do more research and I find out, oh, dang, that's messing me up, I'm going to put it right back down. I'm going to throw it away just like everything else. You know, and he recommended, too, when it came to these herbs and like how I discussed, too, you can use them as a tea. When you use them as a tea, you're not lighting anything. You are not causing what's called a chemical reaction. That's a physical reaction. It just melts through. It's a nice soothing thing. That's what they're supposed to be for. Okay. But then when you light it, you know, you have to pay attention to how some of these things are grown right? Some of your weed, some of these herbs may not be organic. They might be covered in herbicides and pesticides. You might think you're switching over to a healthy herb, but you're actually lighting up that fertilizer, those herbicides and all that type of stuff, that fer uh, fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, whatever that's sprayed all over your plants. So when you light that up, you're not just smoking that herb, you're smoking that chemical as well. And that can be carcinogenic. The same way that you don't sit too close to a, uh, like an open campfire. That's the example he gave me. Because like all that smoke, you know, even though it's a warm campfire, it means no harm. You're too close to it. You're still inhaling too much smoke. That could be just as detrimental to you. So I just want to share that information. The overall message with this update video is do your own research. Okay? I am a human test tube. I try things out because I know I can heal myself if I ever screw up significantly. Some of y'all don't have that. And I'm not saying I'm above you. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying do your own research. That is all I'm saying. All right. Don't just take the person on the screen's word for everything. You know, once again, we might come out two weeks later. But, hey, we were wrong. I had to come out a few hours later and say, hey, there's some new information I want to present to you real quick. Real quick, real quick, real quick. But nevertheless, you know. You need to remember also, when it comes to smoking, you still are inhaling solid particulates, 
those things are still going to coat you. That's why when it comes to this stuff, I don't smoke it every day because I know what that is. When you have your at when you have to ash it, you kind of smoked that. You feel what I'm saying? And that that's coat your lungs. It still uh, it still affects your lungs in a certain type of way. All that type of stuff. You're still burning. You're still smoking a burning ember, by the way. So you know, keep that in consider. Take all of that into consideration. But once again, shout out to my community. Shout out to Zen for providing me some information to make sure I just get everyone recalibrated. I get everyone to say, hey, that may sound interesting, but before you just go buy it and start smoking it. Think about it real quick. Do some research on what every single thing that's in here. Do your research on it. What happens if I smoke this? What happens if I burn this? But then we all, no matter what it is, whatever we're putting into our bodies, we need to move to organic things. Things that have no herbicides, no pesticides, no carcinogenic substances on them. Okay? And then we can start to improve our health in that way. So once again, I know I've said this is the third time now, but shout out to Zen for providing me that information. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for letting me make mistakes. But I'm, I'm one that I'm not too ashamed to go correct them. To the next one, y'all.